Denver as four coming up uh, at home against the Rockets at 215 and a half the total. Guess what? They got rid of Mello and they had their best performance on offense of the season and were great in the first half as they were all over the Pacers. I don't know why they brought him in. Horrible move. So uh, we'll see where he winds up now, wherever he goes, if someone takes him, downgrade their power rating. So any event, they get rid of him. Now Denver got off to a 9-1 and one start. Now they've dropped three in a row. At Memphis, no big deal. But then they lost at home to the Nets, and they got Milwaukee on a back-to-back -back and still got beat as the Bucs uh, were bombs away from three, and Lopez got them in that one. So we'll see how they respond with the Rockets. Rockets are 26th. Excuse me. Yeah, 26th in pace, tied with the Nuggets. Offensive efficiency, the Rockets are near the bottom. The Nuggets are top 10. Defense, Nuggets are top 10. And the Rockets are 19th. Remember, they were top 10 in defense last year, so they're off to a slow start. And we'll see Harden look good against the Pacers, but now we'll see if this team takes off. They were not minus $9 to win the division before the season. You can find them 220 now at MGM Properties. Sure, and I'm not convinced that I want to buy it. Uh, the Rockets to wow. do anything right now. And certainly, certainly when you're talking about the impact of Carmelo, who has made literally every team that he's been on since the Nuggets worse since he's gotten there. I was surprised that uh, a, a coaching staff and really a GM uh, who I, you know, in Daryl Morey, who's been someone who we, we respect, would make a move to pick up Melo. He's broken every locker room he's been in. And it yep. doesn't look like necessarily he will play another game in a Houston Rockets uniform. Uh, but you know, for Denver, the three straight losses, the, I mean, again, Milwaukee's good. <laughs> All right. The Nets stole one and then they had a bad, I mean, the Nets literally stole that game in the last two minutes, but now it's three straight losses for Denver. This isn't a team that expects to have a whole lot of losing streaks. And when you look at, at the Nuggets, you know, everyone talks about the Joker and Jokic gets center. Boy, I like this backcourt, Jamal Murray and Gary Harris. That's a duo that isn't quite getting the love that they deserve. I mean, it's a team that has no national media superstars, and teams like that tend to retain their value much longer than teams with James Harden and Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony, who get a lot of hype from the national media. Nuggets are bet on uh, all the way uh, this season, and off three straight losses against a team like this, well, I think you got an idea where we're going to go with play of the day for this one. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.